hello guys and welcome back to Crowning into Nature. Today I'm going to talk about April with you guys. Uh, April is all about getting your seed more powerful and expressing yourself more powerful to your surroundings. Um, so let's start. So in this period you're free to take your place of your choosing and to expand your activities. Um, it's now about being playful with new possibilities that might arrive and grabbing those and using them. Um, yeah, it's important that you don't feel like you're risking too much with the new possibilities. Just give them a go and see what might you <laughs> and see what you might add up with your um, sprouts that are that are already growing, because maybe something from the outside can be influential to your growth in a positive way the risk is that yeah you might get sucked in a buzz of excitement basically so it's really important that you just balance your emotions at that point so that you don't go in a cycle of too much of one emotion because that might end up in a disbalance which might end up in a period of non of no excitement at all or at least less so try to stay calm but enjoy the excitement as well so um, also it's important about keeping your routines up that you build up these past months um, even though it might still So keep your uh, routines up that, that you've built up these past months, even though those, those routines might still take a lot of energy to keep on going. But that's why you have to keep your balance and your energy so that you can keep on doing that. So keep that up. And um, in, the, in the next period, it's also about a, a time where responsibility becomes yours. Um, and you act appropriately um, to, your, to that responsibility that is yours. So in addition, you must check the, this power which, with which you express yourself by looking at your inner strength. So again, look at your own energy. Um, if you make sure that you have enough energy and a good balance in your energy, that might also lead to other people seeing and feeling that you come over natural. So that's something that um, basically you are. You are a natural being and that's why they will trust you and, and that's why people might accept more what you will be doing and how you are. So try to get that balance in that energy. It's all <laughs> what I'm saying basically now in different words, but keep on doing that. Also in this period, it's, all, it's also about making that seed that's been growing and having some sprouts more beautiful. So um, of course, anything that's more beautiful becomes more attractive to others. So keep that in mind and think about how, like, how can I make my seed a bit more beautiful? How can I make it a bit better? But form must never um, transcend the essence. So, don't make, sh don't make the outside of how your idea looks more beautiful than what it basically is because otherwise the beauty might just end up in frills and kitsch and yeah, it might not get taken seriously after uh, quite some time anymore. So keep that in mind. Then we go to the attitude of April. In this period, it's uh, important that you uh, risk the jump to new possibilities. And that's why it's important to ask yourself, like, which new possibilities are showing up around me? And um, in what ways can I be more present in receiving this, those new possibilities? Also about pushing your doubts away. Also, the last thing in this period is to give yourself this question um, what should I do if I was just free because basically you are unless maybe you're 
in the present or something, but still there's also possibilities that you have in the present, right? So feel like you're free. Think about how should I act if I was free. So the impulse in April is about figuring out who and what supports you in your growing process and uh, basically what is or who is your infrastructure or um, the skill of which you live and work like who is in your network and what people and possibilities are there for you um, also it's important in, the, in that network and people that you meet that you um, let them know what you're doing keep, peop keep, keep people up to date with any new things and um, it might just end up in new possibilities because you have some interaction with one another so that's also a way to get new possibilities keep that in mind as well it makes people enthusiastic about what you're doing and you might get some help from others keep in mind that your ideas and um, actions are good and they can work out. Be careful not to get bogged down in excessive looking at resistance of what could go wrong. Just start creating and don't overthink on what's possibly going wrong. Now we're in the undercurrent of April. It's possible that a lot has to be taken care of. Um, so trust yourself in this that you are capable of doing that. And in the middle of all the tension of the new things, it's important that you have some patience as well. Because not everything can always be there immediately because it's a starting process. A tree can't expect to be super tall just in a blink of an eye, you know. So again, it's focus on what supports you and what cooperates and is successful in your life. Don't focus too much on what is going bad or is threatening your growth. So focus on the good stuff you know so basically avoid fear of failure because as the law of attraction basically already says it's like whatever you give attention to that just grows within you so if you have a lot of negative thoughts for example then that will only lead to more negative thoughts and negative emotions but if you have positive thoughts or positive emotions then those will increase in amount as you keep on doing that so try to um, see yourself as well as a magnet that whatever you whatever energy you have within you will also get attracted to you so shortly that's what the law of attraction is about just look it up if you're not sure if you even want to go and trust what I'm saying but <laughs> believe me this is a whole thing it's a law of the universe and there's a lot of information to be found on the internet about it so lastly some cl um, questions from the undercurrent in April are uh, what helps you to naturally stay in the current of the growth that you're in right now and the second question is what is it you need or needn't do to have enough patience so the energy in april uh, with the energy it's important that you don't abuse the trust that has been given by others but for you from you so that will lead to some responsibility as well from yourself and it's about how you influence the world in this period from this responsibility that you're getting from others so don't become overconfident or arrogant um, because that will only lead to people losing respect for what you're doing so that's not also something that you would like I guess so be moderate in this month on the influence that you have on others because it's still not really summer right so just take it a little slow still and it's also important that you pause every now and then to keep in touch with your own energy and your body so that yeah you can fine tune your energy 
to the activities and the people that you're interacting with so keep that in mind so there's a, there's three questions that you can also use to figure out something more about your energy in this month by first looking at um, in what way do you have influence on others secondly it's about how do you manage to restrain yourself and how do you take break or how do you stay natural and receptive enough for uh, for others so that's also good and the last thing is what can still be improved then we go to shapes and actions so don't make the shapes of your growing seeds more beautiful than they are so as i said before don't make the form be more beautiful than the content okay so some questions in shapes and actions uh, are what do you want to express more beautiful and what is beauty in your life or your job or anything that you're doing that you want to express more and lastly what do you have to do to find the right re relationship between the content and a beautiful form so lastly i will talk a bit about my personal journey in the next upcoming month and i will reflect on the end of this month on how this went for myself by looking at how i did on these parts first i'm gonna look out for new possibilities such as connections with people that i'm spending my time with and seeing possibilities arrive in that in that or activities that i might um, do or see around me that might be beneficial for myself or basically any changes at all then i'm also going to express what i'm growing more to others so that i also might just get more uh, in line with others um, Secondly, I'm also going to express what I'm growing within me a, a, a bit more to others so that others might also see an opportunity to help me or help themselves in that process so we can be beneficial to each other. Thirdly, I will focus more on keeping my energy balanced by doing some exercises. Exercises such as yeah, keeping my energy um in line by doing some um meditation some body scan meditation for example or like a breathing exercise or something like a mudra just anything to enhance or get in touch with my with my own energy then fourthly I'm gonna focus more on what I can and not so much on what I cannot so that I basically attract more energy and more thoughts on what I can seen from the law of attraction and I also get more trust in myself so that I shine brighter and I go more to what I want myself as well then and lastly i'm going to look on how to make this growth process more beautiful and i think then in a way of going inwards as outwards so like from inwards i would think about my uh, my presence and gratitude being better and maybe also fine-tuning my own en energy yeah and outwards it's maybe more about how i can make these videos better or more effective and i i guess we will see how the how that will end up and that and i guess we will see how i did at the end of this month so this is it guys for this month i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see something more or something less maybe as well Maybe the videos are too long, maybe the videos are too short. Just give me a heads up and I will look at what I can do to make this video any better. So I wish you guys a strong month. A month that a lot of growth can come from within. And you can express yourself a bit better to the outside. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And I hope you have a nice day and bye bye.